Dang. I think that's a nest inside there. Yeah. There he is. There's these big mature iguanas out here. There's probably got to be some hatchlings or some juveniles in this area. Dang, that's a big one. Got a tail right there. Yeah, they're everywhere. Let's keep walking here. Ooh, he went in. Ooh. My God, look at that big one right there. Having an iguana invasion. It's happening right in front of us every single day. More and more iguanas are hatching, growing, getting bigger. See how it's freshly cut? These iguanas were not phased at that at all. They actually enjoy it. Look at that, it's pure onyx with the white skull cap. So today we're gonna be doing a little DIY trap. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be using and how we're gonna be trying to catch some juvenile iguanas. Hopefully a baby iguana goes in here. We have this like fish trap bait bucket kind of deal. Check it out. We have a piece of fresh bait. Very sweet. Right here we have a piece of nylon string so we can hoist the trap up in the tree where some iguanas will be hiding. Bring up this pepper. When you chop it, you get to spread more surface area, get to enhance the smell to go everywhere. And of course you make it easier for the iguanas to actually eat instead of taking big chunks and fleeing. The trap, all right. Throw it inside there. Got a stick right here. We'll stick it in that hole and we'll put it right, throw it in a, tr oh my gosh. I think this is a good, I think this is a good tree to throw it in. Just look at all these iguanas that just ran out of this bush. That's a sign right there that there's definitely activity. Yep. I think that's good. All right, so while the trap is doing its thing, let's see if we can use this old pizza to catch some fish. There's gotta be some fish in here. Oh. What the heck? Ooh, something just flashed right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. What kind of fish is that? These baby birds need to watch out for real because there's some snakeheads in these waterways. And I mean, that's just looking like easy target right there. Something ridiculously big out there, like stupid. And like I said, that's just easy prey. Something big lurking underneath. Door is closed. <laughs> All right, we got it. The door is closed. Here's something inside. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything in there. Wait a second, is that a tail? Dude, we got one. Hold up, hold up now. Oh yeah, that thing worked. Oh no, his foot. Oh, come here little bud. Dang, he's hiding in there, check that out. No way, hold up. He went inside there, that sneaky little rascal. Oh, he's going all the way up there. Holding on. There we go. I think we might have freed him up a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, buddy. That trap worked perfect. It's got blues, it's got reds. It's like light, bright green with awesome patterns. Beautiful pet quality right there. And you know what? I think we're gonna turn this iguana into our channel pet, all right? We tried it with the spiny tailed one, but those things are way too aggressive. I couldn't handle him. And he was just sitting there looking mean and grumpy. So I donated him to an animal sanctuary where he can be an ambassador for his species. So right now his tank is empty right now, but I think we just caught a new channel pet. All right, bud, you ready to go in your new home? Let's get some food and some water dishes in here. 
thanks to everybody that's been subscribing, liking, sharing all the videos, commenting, and showing some love. Yes, today, October 15th, is my birthday, and I just want to share with you guys a piece of this beautiful birthday cake. A little Tetra floating starter kit, 1.5 gallon cube, 1998. Hmm. Check this out. Come here. This 2.5 gallon corner view aquarium with multi colored LED lighting and internal filter for $22.97. So it's like $3 extra for a whole nother gallon. Plus it's got the multi-colored LED light. I don't know. Hmm, what do you guys think I should get? The 1.5 gallon or the two and a half? Here, we'll go ahead and grab this. That looks awesome. I can just imagine that, uh, you know, putting that on at night. It's got a timer, a whole bunch of good stuff. So we'll probably get this. It's only three dollars more we get basically a double sized aquarium but i do have some fish food and some water dechlorinator at the house so we're good on that got this cool mossy skull some marine oh does this look familiar types of gravel right here that are natural i wonder which one i should get we have the pearly white one and then we have the brown river rocks it's just too plain we'll put that back this right here looks more royal so we'll use this nice pearly white aquarium substrate this is going to be awesome let's go ahead and pop the top open like a convertible hey very nice wash this out it's been in a factory we don't know if there's dust any contaminants what type of sediment or things from the factory Oh my gosh. This is probably the smallest aquarium filter I have ever seen. Everything's looking great. We'll set that right there. Whoa. There we go. Now it's time that we install this LED light. Sweet. Whoa, all these different colors. This is gonna be awesome. All right, let's install it. Where's the lid? All right, got the lid right here. There we go. Different colors. Purple, green, red, aqua. We're going in the fish store. All right, so we went to the pet shop, as you guys seen. They had some fish in there, but they were outrageously expensive. So, I figured to come back to my roots where I grew up fishing and see if we can micro fish. Got some friends right here. What's your name, sir? Donnie, how you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good. And we got this big brother right here. What's happening, Raj? Chilling, bro. Oh. Maybe a little turtle. I see them right there, actually. So check it out. This is where we're gonna be fishing at. We got this dock right Thank here. You. Whoa, what is, yeah, what is that? It looks like a frog or a turd. Yes. And then, then we are gonna add the new water into our temporary fish tank. So we will give you the honors of the first scoop. Ooh, that's a healthy looking scoop right there. Yeah, I think it is. Hold on. We got a shrimp. Little baby shrimp. Shrimp. Boom. Oh. Look at that. Nice. Or target or something. Hey, for real. Got these little fish. Oh my gosh, they're so jumpy. It's a big old fish. Dang, that thing is fat. Used to be everything though in here. Oh, we just got, we do, we got a big shrimp. Yeah, I see him jumping. Big shrimp, big shrimp, guys. This is what we're looking for, check it out. Big old shrimp. Look at that. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Jump off your finger. That is what we're looking for, for real. Let's put him in there, there he is. All right, so as you guys can see, we didn't do too bad for a couple of scoops. 
Um, we caught three different species of animals, as you guys are seeing right there. We have that one minnow looking fish with the dot on him. Then we have those striped fish right there. And we have our big shrimp right there. Look at that. That Nobody is probably insane. would have ever known there's shrimp in salt fresh water. For real. Just want to give a special thank you to all the continued love and support. You guys are the greatest. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And until next time, just keep on catching.